Hey guys, it's T Raccoon, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about why I absolutely love having online friends. So, my online friendships actually started back in 2008, and that's way back because I was like in middle school. Wow, it actually started on like an online forum site. I absolutely didn't know what I was doing, and I was just being really dumb. But I ended up making like a bunch of friends on the site just because we all shared a common interest. And that's pretty cool. Our common interest was actually pretending that we were cats. And it's kind of weird, but that's my middle school life. One thing I absolutely loved about the internet was like the online chat groups and that was really amazing. Not only was I able to like or write in like posts and threads and forums with my forum friends but I was also able to find new online chat friends we had an online chat on Zat I think it's called XAT I'm not sure if you heard about it but I still use it nowadays and we still communicate with each other but then I started straying off and I started finding like stuff Stuff like MySpace, stuff like Omegle, where you can just like talk to random people anonymously. anonymously. I started like doing like group chats and stuff, and that's sort of how we bonded and became friends. There's this one friend that I've made. His name's Angel, and we've met in 2010. And what happened was Angel passed away, or Angel posted, or something about. I wasn't online at the time because I was taking a break from like chat rooms and stuff but Angel passed away and that totally like broke my heart so, like a few weeks ago Angel found me on Twitter and we started DMing and we're like best friends again and we caught up and all this great stuff like not only are they your friend but you can tell them stuff that you probably wouldn't even tell people that you know like in person like you have friends all over the world and that's really amazing because like if you go visit somewhere and then your friend can recommend you places they can tell you things i just find that to be really cool and really inspiring i don't know i feel like it's hard for me to open up to people in real life if i can like text them or if i can message them about my dilemma instead of actually talking about it face to face then i find that a lot easier i haven't really had like a lot of like real life friends that lasts. Usually it's like my online friendships that last. I know that some of my friendships back from 2008 even are still alive. It's just really cool. When I started that forum back in 2008, it was more like we're all immature. We didn't know what we were doing, but now we're all like everyone in that group, everyone in that like OG squad. We are all in college. We're all in universities. We all have lives. We Some of them are parents. Some of them are really like influential people nowadays and that's just really cool how you have that connection with other people and then there's like the newer generations of friends that you make like on twitter i don't know like i feel like twitter is a great way to make online friends like i've made such amazing friendships with people unfortunately some of them had to like die because we just stopped communicating with each other we basically grew up with each other ever since like chatting with each other. There's some people that you just want to meet and there's a lot of great opportunities. I've actually met like a few of my online friends before and that's pretty cool because like you get to see them like face to face and it's really different than talking on a screen because you're like wow like it's actually you and like you actually like see each other to be like celebrities in a way. Because you're like, wow, I've talked to you for like ages and now I finally meet and it's just like, you're still starstruck meeting them. I would love to meet all my online friends if I was able to, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to wait a few years until I get to meet my online friends and to see if like our friendship is actually still like going on. But there's some people that absolutely want to meet and they absolutely want to meet me too. And that's just like, wow, like... Wow, people actually care. You can always text like your online friends and they'll be there for you. And they're honestly like some of the sweetest people ever. I wouldn't change like anything about meeting them. It's just so cool to see how like people have common interests or they probably maybe don't, maybe they don't even have common interests. I know that I've become friends with this one guy who 
was like a huge Broncos fan and he hated that I didn't know football. But we ended up like bonding, we started talking, and he'll talk to me about like him going hunting and he knows that I'm really against like people like physically killing animals unless it's for the food. I had a friend who would just talk to me about like Formula One and like gears and Grand Prix and stuff and I eventually like started falling in love with Formula One racing. Like you wouldn't expect some things about certain people but once they like open up to you about certain things that they're actually passionate about, that they love, and then you start like developing a sort of like an interest for their stuff too, it helps you like find out the path that you want in life and I'm honestly so blessed to have the online friends that I have even if we drifted apart throughout the years like they've all meant so much to me they've all helped me become like a more confident like more reassured person who has a better idea of who I am as an individual and what I want to get out of myself this is it for this week's video if you like this video please give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on Twitter follow me on Instagram and add me on snapchat and I will see you next Saturday